I probably. I know you. You'd be a terrible outfielder. Coach, bad, bad outfielder, coach. Okay, ready? Yes, sir. Uh, look up. This is what it's all about, guys. Um, you know, when we we started this journey, people don't realize now. It used to be in the old days, the Gene Barto days, which is which is when I took the job. That was I made no bones about it. My my objective was to get UAB basketball back to the Gene Barto standard. Uh, the coach of the year in this league is named after him, and, and, and rightly so because of his legacy. And the Gene Bartow standard is moments such as this, when you're sitting here with great guys who have pieces of a, of a net in their hat, uh, an MVP, we've got a, a conference tournament championship trophy, and uh, we're getting an opportunity to go play in the NCAA tournament, and we've earned that. So when we started this journey back in June, this was the goal, was it not? We made no bones about it. For sure. I, I think that, that my group felt like once we found ourselves, and we, and we got lost from time to time, no question. But once we found ourselves, we felt like uh, we were the best team in Conference USA. No disrespect to North Texas whatsoever. They earned the right to be the regular season champion. And so when we came to Frisco, we were really looking forward to the opportunity that this tournament provided. And I'm so proud of my guys. We didn't play perfect, uh, but we played good enough. And, and the resilient fight of this group, the competitive spirit, is what's allowed it to be conference tournament champions. It's allowed us to win 27 games, which is the most in this storied history's program. Uh, I could not be more proud of this group. We'll go ahead and take some questions from the room. For Mike, uh, that mm -hmm. second half, you really gave a lot of respect to Big Shot after Big yeah. Shot. Just talk about uh, you know, just having that confidence as well as just that, uh, that aura about you to just knock down those shots in the second half. Yeah, I mean, the confidence comes from my teammates and coaches, I think. Um, <coughs> you know, I, I didn't have the best first half, but they just said to keep shooting it. And, um, you know, coach got me open looks. May, uh, people made good screens. Jelly found me, and I just shot it. And, they, uh, and I worked really hard at it, and they went in. That's the greatest thing, you know, and I've said this many times. These guys work. They have earned the right to be successful. And so we always talk about trust the work, trust the work. Sometimes things don't go well for two or three minutes. Just trust the work. And, and Mike's going up and down because he's, he, he thinks too much sometimes. Uh, and it was great to see the reward. He's been shooting the cover off of it for about the last month because the work always shows, and it's showing in a big way at the perfect time. You know, Mike, Mike and Quan, who's not here with us, we should have had another chair because when I first got this job, those two guys, um, sight unseen, committed to come and help us get this program back to a moment like this. So I will be indebted to Mike Earl and Quan Jackson forever. Tell me if I'm wrong because I'm not around all the time, but Tave is maybe the greatest teammate on our team, mm -hmm. uh, an incredible pleaser. Mm -hmm. uh, um, he's got a bulldog-type game, but he doesn't have a bulldog-type personality. <clears throat> so we're constantly trying to pull it out of him. I thought he was awesome tonight. You know, Trey has been in foul trouble since we landed at DFW. He's picked up three since we walked down the hall. <laughs> it's been, you know, unfortunately for him, and he had played, he was really playing well coming in. He still has eight and uh, five and eight, but he, but he stayed in foul trouble. And so we went small. We went small a lot, and that puts Tave at that four. So we really challenged him to rebound the ball. He goes for 11 and seven and had some huge ones down the stretch. You know, we were bleeding a little bit against that pressure. Uncharacteristic. I don't really understand it, but it's been a problem for us. Uh, we were turning it over, and to LaTex credit, man, they're tenacious. Eric Conkle's done a tremendous job. they got a really good team. Um, and, and we were bleeding a little bit, so we were challenging. Hey, man, one stop, one big ball, one rebound, one basket. Boy, Tave did a lot of those things for us down the stretch. Saying let's get a stop, you know, that's, that's really what I was saying. And I was just saying let's stay together. That's what Coach Pre just, we say it all the time before we leave, stay together. And, like, there are always going to be bad things going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Basketball is a game of runs. And I think I've said it before, but, like, it, it's literally a game of runs. Sometimes you're playing good and sometimes they're going to play good. You're never going to – I mean, we all hope to play good for 40 straight minutes, but that is really not reality, you know. And sometimes we have slip-ups, but when we stay together and, and – we lean on each other. It's, 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 easy to, it's easy to get it done. Yeah, the other team's trying too. Sometimes people forget that. I mean, they're 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 on scholarship and they're trying real hard and they won a bunch of games too. And, and Kenneth Lofton Jr. I've said this before to you, haven't I? Um, the old old Conference USA days. It may have been great Midwest, maybe Conference USA. Danny Fortson. That's who he reminds me of. Who in this room's old enough to remember Danny Fortson? You are. Yeah. That's who he reminds me of. I mean, he's just such a big load in there. And when he gets his position, he is so difficult. Uh, I thought we did as good a job as we could do on him, and he still. 
He still goes for 23 and nine. Um, our guys were really active, I thought, connected defensively. We hold them to four for 28 from three. We win the battle of the boards, uh, made our free throws timely in our <laughs> shot making. Uh, and we led for 39 minutes. It certainly didn't feel like that at times because of the run they made in the second half, and that's a credit to them. But um, we really led this thing from, from tap to buzzer. Yeah, I mean, for me, you know, I was lucky um, to have another year, uh, another shot at it. Um, you know, this is just the big goal you want at the beginning of each year. Um, you know, it's what we work so hard for. Um, you know, when you're working out in the gym by yourself, you think of going to the big dance, making a big shot in March Madness. And, um, you know, finally, uh, you know, we have that chance. <coughs> you know, it's a dream come true. I've been watching the NCAA tournament since I was a little kid. I've always wanted to be a part of it. And now, you know, I'm blessed enough to, to have that opportunity. Yeah, yeah, to piggyback what he said, that's, it's, and I keep using the same word, but it's surreal. You know, as a kid, and me and him, I would probably say, like, we work out a lot. We, we're in the gym a lot. And mm -hmm. I'm not really in the gym with him. He's in the gym by himself, and I'm in the gym by myself. But we're in there. We're in there a lot, you mm -hmm. know. And, and it's like these are, these are the moments you live for. Like, these are the moments you dream about when you're a kid, like, and you want to play basketball, and you see all these teams and all these great players in the, in the tournament, you know, and, like, you're just sitting there and you're filling out your bracket in school with a pencil, you know. It's, it's, it's insane. It's insane to actually be a key contributor making it to the tournament and, and being a main reason why. Not saying me, but, like, the people who, who you play, you know what I'm saying, to be a main contributor to, like, make it to the dance. It's, it's surreal. It's surreal, and this is probably... This was probably the biggest game of my entire life, and probably the next game after this is gonna be the next biggest game of my entire life, you know. But, but uh, for right now, I, individually, and not trying to sound selfish, but I, I, I feel incredible. I feel incredible. Make sure we don't have any questions on Zoom. If you have one, real quick, we want to get you in here. But otherwise, uh, we'll let them get on their way we'll back to the celebration. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Appreciate you.